All right, guys, we're back in Final Fantasy VII yet again after quite a while. We were out of commission for a little bit because of the mods. Um, so I had an issue with my Seventh Heaven mod manager or something of the sort. My game went to absolute shit, but now we're up and running, guys. So I'm really excited to to uh, show you where we're sitting here. Um, real fast, let me just I can bring up the mod manager for you if you guys can see that on the screen. Uh, you guys in Twitch, let me know if you can see that. Display capture. Yep, we should be good. Okay, so real fast, um, I didn't change a whole lot. We just updated the uh, mod manager itself and the Suna mods and stuff that we're using. Um, so if you guys have been following the playthrough here, so this is the load order that I'm using. But just from top to bottom, we got new threat 1.5. 2.0 is out right, um, right now. That's the newest version. But I was having issues. Really weird issues in battle so it is what it is we got new threat 1.5 cosmo memory we didn't have this in the last video guys what this is is a complete um complete entire sound overall every individual sound effect in the game ambient sound effects it adds voiced attacks for your characters so i'm going to show you guys a quick battle before we head in and just uh dive into the game honestly and just just proceed on i'm really excited to be back and playing this guys um, what else we got? No, I think that's it, though. Yeah, finishing touch, that's pretty cool, but you're not going to be seeing that in the video. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's all Suna mods. Such a project. Yep. So there's that. I know some of you guys wanted to see that. Um, as well as some of you guys were asking me about a, like, an install, like a tutorial video. So, with the issues I was having... This, uh, I'd say this video and probably the next video is going to be kind of a test run, um, stability test. We're going to see how everything, uh, stays running, you know. And if I am satisfied with everything, then I will just kind of copy this build and hope to make a tutorial video for you guys. Help you guys out a little bit here. But you can see the sound effects are much, much different. Everything looks, everything looks fantastic, man. Um, let's do some physical attacks. That's the, that's how you can hear the voiced attacks from each character. That's part of the Cosmo Memory mod from Suna Mods. Let that do its thing here. This thing has so much fucking hit points with the new threat mod. I was fighting it earlier. <laughs> um, just to show you guys, that's bright. Yeah, you hear that? I don't know. I got the sound down um, a little bit quieter, but you guys should be able to hear that. That is so cool. That's awesome. It's the little shit that just adds so much life to an old game like this, man. Yeah. But yeah, we good. So we're gonna... We're gonna get out of here. If we can. Yeah, shit's a lot different with the new threat mod. <laughs> I want to have to turn off the invincibility crap too. For the, t I was testing, I was testing some shit with the battles earlier, so I have to turn that off real fast. But yeah, where we're at now is Costa del Sol. Um, and I think in this episode we're probably just gonna run through this. Uh, because I think we meet Hojo over here, right? We, we talk to Hojo, do a couple things, and then I think we're going to head up to Mount Coral. That's probably going to be all we're going to do. Ah, Cloud. Let me make a buck, why don't you? I'm selling material, why don't you buy some? <laughs> sure. Well, we're good on material. We good. Surprisingly good. I thought we were going to be uh, a little hard off, for, hard up for money, but we're good. Well, we're lucky to have that cutie working for us part-time. Now be careful with that one, fella. <laughs> How about buying some soft? Memento of this wonderful trip. We are well we are well stocked, as you can see.
Okay, so we're looking for, we're testing some things out. We're looking for glitches. There's a little bit of a f screen flicker right there. You can see that. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> now let me activate speed boost and see if that affects anything somehow. Nope. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. It's um very 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 intermittently where I I've encountered that in this playthrough. I haven't I didn't encounter that issue with our last um with our last any of our last videos honestly. So I don't know uh, what's changed. You know that could that could be entirely on me as well. That could be just something with the with the load order. You know sometimes things aren't always perfect. It is what it is. God, what do you want? Out of the way. What's his problem? <laughs> Professor Hojo, I think the scary man wants to talk talk with you. Hmm, I'm busy right now. Hear that? You can leave now. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many mods we put into it and how much they change, I'm still glad to see the old uh 1997 physics, the, way, the the old school wave of like how he just jumped right there. I love that. Long time no see, Cloud. <laughs> Hojo. Sometimes you just got to do something like this. Yeah, about that. What are you doing? It should be obvious. I'm getting a tan. Answer the question. Hmm. Very well. I believe we're both at the, after the same goal. You mean Sephiroth? Hmm. In a manner of speaking, did you see him? I see. Ha 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 ha. How are you going to get a tan in a fucking lab coat? That's what I want to know. Super duper facial farmer tan, right? <laughs> oh, nothing. I just remembered a certain hypothesis. Haven't you ever had the feeling something is calling you? Or that you had to visit someplace? Yeah, we saw him. He was on the cargo ship. I don't know what he's planning, and I don't much care either. I'm gonna stop him. I see. This could be interesting. Were you in Soldier? <laughs> Would you like to be my guinea pig? He's holding the invisible sword. Oh, now what? Are you going to draw your sword? Stop, Cloud. Why, why did he just lay down like that? That's... Okay. Awkward. Say, aren't you the Ancient? I'm Aerith. The least you can do is remember my name. Actually, I want you to tell me something, Professor Hojo. I know I'm an Ancient. My mother told me. Your mother? Oh, you mean Afalna. How is she? You didn't know? She died. I see. Professor Hojo, is Genova really an ancient? Sephiroth, for that matter? I'll head west. <laughs> he's mumbling slowly. That must mean he's hiding something. Ah, back to the tanning. It's no use. It's a no-go. He never takes off this lab, his lab coat, even in this heat. I guess that's the mark of an intellectual. It's not. Mark of a jackass. Alright. Let's continue on. I don't think there's a whole lot else we can do. Unless you have like 150,000, I think you can buy that, the villa. You can buy the, the house or whatever. <laughs> We're definitely not going to do that. Alright, so you can see, um, from the last video, a lot of the NPCs are, uh, 
overhaul this time around, I noticed. Come on, please, if you don't buy from me, I won't be able to pay for the pay the rent. <laughs> what does he got? Oh, he's got a couple good things. Yeah. Yes, indeed. We'll take some of that. Give us some of that good stuff. I wish you could see the uh, material slots. So this time around, um, I know for a fact this wasn't the case in the last playthrough. But look at this, we haven't got anything up until recently. So the Buster Sword is labeled as your initial equip here. Now. I mean, obviously that's what it's always been, right? But that's stronger than what we have right now. That's 24 attack power. So a couple things have been changed. I don't know if that's with the new threat mod or maybe if I had stuff in the wrong load order. Previously, prior to this, I don't know. We just weren't seeing the differences, but... So yeah, you can see the Mithril Saber was the second the second sword you get for him. Lower attack power. Less materia slots, but you get, you get different attributes, like magic plus 15, as you can see right there, guys. Hard edge, a little bit different this time around. Vitality and spirit plus 15. Less attack power, but I equipped it because it had more material slots. Plus, I just wanted to see it on his back, like we're seeing it right now. <laughs> to be honest, but those are just some of the... I just wanted to point out a few of the uh, different things. Now, as for everyone else's initial equip, check this out. I actually like it. So, she starts She starts off with the what's called the Farmer Glove. Not the Metal Knuckle like she usually does. Farmer Glove, triple growth. So, every other character's initial equip is standard with triple growth for material growth, which is really fucking cool, honestly. You might equip this platinum bangle on somebody here. Because I'm seeing a lot more at this earlier parts of the game, I'm seeing the uh, like triple and double growth added to a lot of accessories and stuff, which is really cool. So that's definitely going to come in handy. We want to take advantage of that right, right off the bat if we can, you know. Okay. So yeah, you can see the uh, the menu is a little bit better looking this time around. We have the remake menu in, but we have like all the font and everything else is also updated as well. The sound effects, this is optional, but this is all Final Fantasy VII remake sound effects and the um, the soundtrack as well. All right, pretty cool. Really. what anyone else has to say. I don't think anybody else has anything great to say, honestly. But the NPCs look great. <laughs> Alright, no items in there for us. You can kick this, though, can't you? Yeah. There we go. No. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> Johnny, what's up, my man? <laughs> Holy hell, it's you! Damn, didn't expect you to show up. Well, whatever. I'd already left Midgar when I heard the news about Sector 7. Everyone I knew, gone. Long story short, I ended up here, living with my new friend here. But what about you, uh, why can't I remember your name? Who are you? I can't believe you forgot me. We all grew up together, remember? Typical. You were always an outsider, though, so I guess it doesn't matter. I started a new life in this town, going to make a fresh go of it. Maybe it's best if you leave. A lot of things have happened, but I'm still going to do my best. Have fun living out under the stars. I'm sorry about that. He, he's been a bit all over the place since the Sector 7 incident. <laughs> yeah. Is that him talking or his, his special friend? You still here? I'm happy here, and I don't want any reminders hanging around. So beat it. 
You got any gill lying around? Got any items for us? Okay. Okay, we good. We out. So I think all that there is really left to do is uh, turn our speed hack on and uh, search around once more. And then we're going to head west over to Mount Coral, I think. I think that's all there is. We're going to keep it a little shorter today. But yeah, I, like I said, I'm really excited to be back at this. I was having so many issues. Just out of the blue, we got here in our last playthrough, and um, the game just wouldn't load up like in battles, and I would walk into the next screen and just like lose sound. And then I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't changing anything. All of a sudden, out of the blue, I couldn't even launch the Seventh Heaven mod manager. It was just... It was, it was a shitty deal. <laughs> but we back at it. Motor drive. That is a uh, weapon for Tifa, I think, right? Go. <laughs> okay, so check out the description. It's go the fast. Okay. That's great. <laughs> Lovely. Ah, what a nice fella. Gives us some free stuff and just falls asleep. Can you talk to this guy? What a fluffy bed. It feels so great. Yeah, this is the one that you buy, right? Pretty sure. Vacant, vacant villa, yep. I don't think there's really much that you get besides just owner's rights, right? Wrong way. All right, so we will head out underneath the bridge here and uh, depart for. Uh, I think we're going going up to Mount Coral, right? And just because we can, encounters are off right now. Can't wait to get over to Gold Saucer. That's gonna look really great with the uh, remastered mods. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to save just because. And with these mods, with the new threat mod, you don't know what you're going to encounter. I, I know that from experience. There could be, um, there's going to be extra bosses and shit that I'm probably going to accidentally trigger. And we're going to get demolished. Yeah. So right here in this screen, you get a good look at clouds. Um, this is the Berserker model. From the Cetra Project model uh, overhaul, I, ch I went with the uh, Berserker one. That's what it's called, anyways. Um, and you get a good look at the Hard Edge sword that we have. Looks fan freaking tastic. Hey there, you heading up? It's dangerous. Make sure you got some soft with you. Yeah, yeah. You have you seen a have you seen a man in black coming through here by any chance? Saw a whole bunch of them actually. They all came shambling up here, muttering away to themselves. I tried to tell them it was dangerous up ahead, but they ignored me. That sounds strange. What do you guys think? We need to head this way to get past the river, so... <laughs> God, it's me. Where are you right now? Yeah, we just started the climb. It's about, er it's about Barrett. He's being so quiet. I think something's wrong. Hear it being quiet. I believe this when I see it. Well, hear it. Cloud, this is serious. We'll be waiting for you. Hurry up. Interesting. So we get little, little calls on our, uh, our iPhone or uh, PHS, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the soundtrack, man, it's, it's beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. So there's going to be a recurring added boss fight that is, uh, well, it's recurring, and it's going to be, it's going to be here later on, too, as well. 
just watching uh, some streamers <laughs> testing out the new threat mod a while back. But, um, yeah, so that'll be exciting. Try talking to him, Cloud. Barrett is acting strange. <clears throat> hey, Cloud, do we really gotta go on? This is the only way for... This is the only way west for us. Why? What's the problem? Damn. Ain't no problem. He hasn't been like this since Sector 7. I wonder what's wrong. It's all, uh... The memories, they're all flooding back. Ugh, this bite. Stop bothering me. Good old Nanaki. We can't go that way. There is nothing up that way, up the stairs at this point in time. So we won't worry about it. And if they didn't change anything, we're still going to fall through. I don't know if we'll be able to pick up the items or not. Um, did we check this out in the last playthroughs? Um, we have a new thing with new threat mod called SP. Sp special points or some type of points. I don't know. <clears throat> so once you get... You can see, like, there's a required amount, 200, you know, for each character. So you can pick out certain level ups or, uh, boosts. Um, here it is right now. Rank up. But we're gonna check this out, guys. We're gonna make a deal. Let's see what you have for me. So we have, um, Tifa. Tifa's the only one that can do this right now. So you pick one of these. Monk. Fugilist, uh, Brawler, Oracle, Punch Bag. Pretty cool. Um, well, let's go with Monk. So this literally just gives you uh, sources. You you have to use them all. It's pretty cool. But yeah, you do have to use them all, and he or he'll take back, you know, whatever's left or something like that. It's really cool how it ties in. That character. Yeah, that's ni nice little stat boost for her. Because your stats do start out much, much lower, guys. Like, Vitality, you can see that's uh, pretty dramatically low. And that concludes the deal. Be one to fight further, then come see me. Take your time coming back. I'm not going anywhere. That's good to know. That's a pretty cool thing, though. Neat little thing they added in. I want to be saving like crazy. I ne you never know what's around the corner. I've got my ass kicked just in random encounters with the new threat mod. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, fairly OCD about fucking... Um, about saving, you know. Yeah, that didn't get us anything. It doesn't help that we have a speed boost on, either. Ooh. Nice. Long way. Command counter materia. Okay. There's going to be a lot of new, um, a lot of that stuff too. A lot of new stuff with materials. Uh, Command counter, that's something new. It's obviously what it suggests. Counters with paired command. We don't really have any, like, good offensive command materia at this point of, um, of the game right now. So, not really going to worry about it.